Hi everyone, I'm Valeria from the Data School Cohort 21 and in this video I'm going to show you how to format chart labels if you have a parameter that switches between regular values and percentages. Let's say I have a chart where the metric is defined by a parameter. The user can choose from total sales, profit, profit ratio, etc. What I want to do is format my labels dynamically depending on which metric is selected. So for my profit ratio and my discount, I'd like the labels to show as percentages. And for, uh, for all the other metrics, I just want regular integer values. There are several ways to achieve that, but I'm going to show you the strategy I've been using most recently. You might have noticed that in my parameter options, I have explicitly specified uh, which metrics are percentage values. This is just to make the process a bit easier and cleaner for myself, but if you don't want your user to see that, you can always edit the display as side. Um, the important thing is that my left-hand side stays clearly marked. Next, I want to create two calculated fields. The first one will be the label for metric one percent value. And I'll say if contains metric one parameter, the percentage sign, then give me metric one, hit okay. And then we can duplicate that field and edit it for a non-percentage value where I'll say if not contains metric one, the percentage sign, then give me the metric. Next, I'll put both these fields onto my label shelf and I can edit the label to have both fields next to each other in the same row without any space in between. And now I have two pills that I can format separately. So for my percentage value, I uh, will have it as a percentage with no decimal points. And just make sure you're on a pane tab here. And for my non-percentage values, I'll set them to custom number also with no decimal points. And now when I switch from sales to discount and to profit ratio, my, my labels look much tidier and easier to read. It also means that if I wanted to add any additional metrics into this parameter, as long as I follow the same conventions here, the correct formatting will be assigned automatically. The only thing I can't do is dynamically format the axis, but I don't really need it here since I'm already showing the labels for all my marks. So I'm just going to hide it. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you'd like to learn more useful tricks in Tableau, check out some of the other videos on the Information Labs formatting playlist.